Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with the Beth Israel Rabbi. This coming Shabbat, we read a double Torah portion of Parshiot Nitzavim Vayilach. In this Torah portion, Moshe is giving his final valedictory. He is about to pass away. The Israelites are about to enter into the land of Israel. And he says to the Israelites, Atem Nitzavim Hayom Kochem. You are all standing here in front of me today, all of you, in front of God, your tribal heads, your elders, your officials, every household of Israel, your children, your wives, even the strangers and the woodchoppers to the water drawers. The Torah is clear. Everyone is standing in front of Moshe. Everyone is hearing his important words. Rashi says that the important people were placed in front of the others. However, for me, I believe that everyone was together. No one was placed in front of everyone else because we are one single Jewish people, and no one is more important than anyone else. We all are together as a single nation, together, and all of our needs are the needs of everyone else. When one person is in need, we are all in need. And that is exactly why in a couple weeks on Yom Kippur, we will read a Haftarah, the Haftarah from the book of Isaiah that says, Our fast on Yom Kippur is in vain if Jews are hungry over the course of the year because they have need for food and we have not addressed that need. And it is precisely from there that Project Isaiah comes for the Jewish Family Services that every year, starting on Rosh Hashanah and continuing through the Aseret Yameh HaTshuva, continuing through the days of the High Holidays until Yom Kippur, that we bring food to the synagogue and to other places in our Jewish community in order to help feed people with food insecurity in our community. And so please, this year, take a bag for Project Isaiah. Make sure to bring food from your house. Make sure to bring food in order to make sure that we are not only all together as a single people standing together, but we are ensuring that no one in our community goes hungry this year. Shana Tova and Shabbat Shalom.